Hello everyone, good evening. My name is CA Bhagashri Loya and I'm a functional consultant SAP at BISP Solutions. We are doing series of video on SAP S4 HANA, that is the latest version of SAP. Our main focus would be on SAP FICO module. We are initiating our series by an introductory video on SAP. So let's begin. What is SAP? SAP is a software. It is an ERP software. What is ERP then? ERP made of three important words. That is enterprise, resource, planning. Enterprise is an organization or entity. Resource means important resources that governs the entity. Example, man, machine, money, material, etc. Now, channelizing these resources by an enterprise known as planning. Therefore, in simple words, SAP is a software that helps support an organization to optimally utilize its resources by planning them in a proper way. SAP support and integrate almost every functional area of business process, such as procurement of goods and services, sales and distribution, finance, accounting, human resource, manufacturing, production planning, logistics, and warehouse management, etc. S4 HANA have 69 plus modules. They are multi-language, multi-currency. It has one key feature that it has eight freely defined currency. That is, one company can report in eight currency. For example, if uh, we have foreign vendors or foreign investors or a holding or group company is a foreign company and they want report in their currency so we can easily provide them with such reports. SAP versions. SAP established in 1972. It is a German company. The first version was launched in 1973, followed by various versions. Focusing on latest version, that is SAP S4 HANA, it was launched in 2015, and now the latest version that uh, we operate it in it was launched in 2019. So SAP S4 HANA 1909 is the latest version. There are many ERP uh, software vendors are available in the market. For example, we have Oracle, Microsoft, Infer, Oracle NetSuite, but SAP is currently leading them all. SAP work on three tire system. It, is, it works on real time. Uh, it works on this three tire system that is client, server, and database. Now, what is client? Client is presentation, or we can say user interface. From this interface, we can operate a software. Now, SAP S4 HANA, it has Fiori Launchpad. Fiori Launchpad is a shell that hosts SAP Fiori apps. It is the entry point to SAP Fiori apps on mobile and desktop devices. You can work from anywhere as it is app-based and URL-based interface. I would like to show you the interface now. So hope you can see uh, the screen. Uh, I would just log on to the SAP. So this is my SAP Easy Access screen uh, from where uh, all the data uh, and the transactions are a flow into the software. Uh, for example, like here is accounting. We have financial accounting in it. 
uh, then through journal ledger, we can do a proper document entry from FP50. Uh, this is a GL document. So this is how it looks. And this is how SAP Easy Access Screen looks. So this is, this is nothing but a client or user interface. Uh, the next uh, part is server. Server is application. It is basically the host or where all the programming is framed or done. Then comes the database. Database is a storage bank, tables and data storage. Now the interesting fact is in SAP ECC, that is the legacy system of SAP S4 HANA did not have database. That means it was dependent on other countries like Oracle or IBM for its database. But now SAP have its own database that is SAP S4 HANA. There are approximately 69 plus modules in SAP and these are differentiated in two categories functional module and technical module. So there are a few examples of functional modules mentioned here. We have finance, controlling, material management, sales and distribution, human resources, and technical module we have ABAP, that is advanced business application programming and basis. <clears throat> and uh, in our entire video series, we shall be focusing on FICO, that is finance and controlling. Now, SAP implementation works on six phases. So now let's see those phases, how the SAP is implemented. Now, the first phase is project preparation. Uh, huge questionnaires are designed, customer requirements are do documented in this phase. The next come blueprints. Now the process procedures from the implementation are documented as uh, per the requirement we got from the project preparation phase. Then come the realization or development phase where the software development and implementation start. In this phase, all the configurations and testings are done. Then come the final preparation phase. Uh, it majorly focusing on pilot running or user trainings. Then comes Go Online. Go Online is implementing the project completely. And lastly, the post support. So the support services uh, rendered after the implementation comes under the six phases. So these six phases are basically the roadmap for the implementation of SAP software. In our entire video series, we shall be focusing on how financial accounting and controlling is done in SAP software. The component of these modules are as under. So in financial accounting, we shall be looking into some basic configuration, basic settings, then journal ledger, account payable, account receivable, then taxation. Taxation would include both direct taxes and indirect taxes then asset management and consolidation. Similarly, in controlling, we shall be covering cost element accounting, cost center accounting, profit center accounting, and so on. So that was a simple introduction to SAP. We shall be discussing few basic mandatory configurations in our next video, so stay tuned. That's all for today. Thank you all for listening.